Hi everyone, we're on day three, US Open 2019. Not many surprises on the first day, but we had a few yesterday. Definitely made up for it. Let's have a look at yesterday's results. Uh, starts with Berrettini beating Gasquet. I thought Gasquet would take that. He's been in decent form recently. Uh, went two sets down, never really recovered, lost in four. Matangela took a set from Simon, very close sets there, 7 5 in each of the sets. Simon goes through. Uh, Kukushki in five sets over Bautista Agu, did not see that at all. Very short price, Agu at the start. He did take the first set, Just lost in five. Byron, as expected, went through. Sinego, comfortable. Rublev, I thought, would take out Sitsipas. He did that in four. Public and Giraldo was expected to be a long one. Uh, it was. Public threw in five. Chilic pretty comfortable. But Dasko did drop a set as expected, but he's through. Thompson, I thought, may struggle a little bit more than that. He's through. Edmund. The only way I can explain Edmund losing to Anjahar, who is terrible on hard courts, is that he's English. What a mong. I'll do for that one. Isner, I thought, would struggle a little bit more. I'd expected him to beat Garcia Lopez. He's through in straight sets. Berev, I didn't think was going to have an easy match. And that proved to be correct. Five sets against Albert. Another surprise there. Stieber has found form, but on clay recently, uh, after missing a lot of tennis. Karinovic has a pretty good record on hard court. Stieber doesn't. Eber through in four. Doesn't make a lot of sense. Struff, I thought, would struggle a little bit more with Rude. He's through in straight sets. Songa. What was happening yesterday? Songa goes out in five. Sangren's been in decent form, or has had some decent results um, recently. He has been playing well, to be fair. But his opponents have been giving him a lot of help. Jung and Escapido. Didn't think Chung was going to struggle quite as much as he did. He was two sets to one down. Koppel threw in five. Another one with a poor record on hard courts. He does do well indoors. Did not expect him to win that one. Thought he may take a set. Kachanov. Pospisil's not been in great form. Kachanov has been in pretty good form. Pospisil in five. Uh, unfortunately, Kachanov took the first set there. Well, I mean, if you thought Pospiel was going to do well, obviously that was good. That was a good thing to do and lame, but I'm not sure many people would have been. Kokinakis, as expected, got through that one. Schwartzman, I thought, would drop a set at least against Harsa. Didn't. Straight sets. Bedene, comfortable. Fair comfortable. Thought he may drop a set too, but he didn't. Grasimov threw in three. A very tight sets. Karlovic retired. I expected that to be tight. Hoang and Mayer. I was just edging with Mayer to take it. He was two sets to one up. But blew it. And I thought Shapovalov would take out Aliasim. Thought it would be closer than that. Shapovalov in three. To the ladies. We'll do the late matches in a moment. Kudmatova lost to Di Lorenzo. Thought that was going to be competitive, but didn't see it going that way. Definitely not in straight sets. Benchich threw in two, as expected. Kvita were comfortable. Thought Pagula would take out Corne. Not a great performance from her. Guerrero struggled. Fought through third set tiebreak. Uh, Ostapenko comfortable two sets. I thought Petkovic and Bozanescu would go to three sets. Uh, did go with Petkovic to take it and she did. Thought Risk would take a set from Muguruza. She took the match from Muguruza in three. Ozaka needed three. That was a bit of a surprise. Uh, lost a tie break in the second. Lynette keeps her strong form going. Straight sets against Sharma. Should have closed bet 365 down. Let me just find it. Like they're all Oh, no. Okay, where were we? Uh, Burns through comfortably. 
against Badosa Gilbert, Andreesco two sets, Flipkins. I thought that was going to be close, but thought it would may it may go the other way. Flipkins goes through in three. Kanepi through in three. Struggled in the first. That's quite a quite a common pattern for Kanepi's matches recently. Collins needed three to get past Herzog, as expected. Pavlyuchenkova I thought would need three. Uh, it was a tiebreak in the second, so not an amazing performance from Parmentier. Kontovic very comfortable. Uh, Townsend comfortable. Can't remember who I went for in that one. Don't remember. Don't remember. Alep, I did not think she would need three sets to beat Gibbs. Wozniacki started really badly. I think she went love five down last night. Um, was looking like she was ill or arthritis was playing up or whatever it was, but she turned it around well. 6-3 in the third. Tomljanovic, I was thinking she may be injured. I think she'd either withdrawn or retired recently. Um, expected her to take a set. She was obviously fine. She took the match in three. Mertens threw in two. Go. Uh, I think I predicted that one in three. And Suarez Navarro retired. Unfortunately, finished the first set. Quick look at the late matches before we look at today's. Thought Kitchenato was actually going to get a win. Um, he came back from two sets down, which was a good effort, and then lost in a fifth set tiebreak to Lark Sonnen. Monfils comfortable. Nadal comfortable. Kyrgios, I thought, would struggle a little bit more than that. He's through in three sets. And on the women's, <laughs> Kuznetsova, she's played a good tournament this year. I obviously thinks she's done enough. Pretty poor from her. Didn't expect Kostea to beat Siniakova at all. Strange one. Pliskova started very low uh, against Parry, who I think was playing her first hard court match. So certainly wasn't a surprise to see Pliskova win. Expected that one. Strichkova not being in the best recent form. Uh, she did take the second set. Goes out in three. Vekic, as expected, goes through. Putin Saver, I thought, would need three sets against Brengel. She gets through in two. Sabalenka, good win over Azarenka. And I thought Stevens may lift herself as it's the US Open, but that match went with form. Kalinskaya threw in straight sets. So I can't say I'm super impressed by my predictions. Some of them worked out okay. There were some nice trades in the matches that uh, I got the eventual winner wrong in. Why we trade. Uh, still not over impressed with my performance on that one. Let's have a look at today's matches. See if I can do a bit better. Okay, start with the men's as usual. Um, Domino should be comfortable in that one. First time they've played. 12 month results favour Garin. Although they're more even in 2019. And Domino's hardcore results are much stronger. Backing me for those as a first set. I don't see that being too competitive. Clan Nishikuri, first time they've played. Nishikuri should be pretty comfortable. I think he's going to drop a set. Uh, Clan's no mug on hardcore. He served pretty well in the last in the last round. Certainly won't be a big surprise if Nishikuri drops a set there. Don't expect him to lose. Delian got through the last round when his opponent uh, eventually retired. Medvedev will be far too strong for him today. Delian very poor on hard courts. Uh, there's no value in that one for me. Evans against Pui. I think Evans is going to be competitive. First time they've met. Overall results a bit better for Evans. Hard court results are also stronger. Definitely some value on him to take a set. I think it's going to be four or five sets. I would give Pui the slight edge, um, but really not too much in that one at all. Try a lay on Pui around about 1.35, take some liability out 1.7, and lay the set one winner. Lopez is play, playing pretty well after a poor start to the year. Uh, his form on grass seems to have helped his confidence. Uh, Nish 
Nishioka has won their previous match in 2016 on a hard court two sets. 12 month results favour him. The more even this season, hard court results also favour him. I think it's going to be close. Got to favour Nishioka to win it, but it's not going to be in three sets. Uh, we could try a lay on him around about 1.35. Take some liability out at 1.7. Back him around 1.95. Federer started poorly in the last round. Don't see him losing this one. If he could make another poor start, that'd be great. 1.03, you can only lay at that price. But I really don't see the price getting much above 1.1. Cuevas beat Sock in the last round. Uh, Majorak could win in the last round over Jerry. Five sets in that one. I think he's going to take at least a set today. And this could be another long four or five setter. Lay Cuevas around 1.5. Take some liability at 1.9. Um, it actually wouldn't be a shock if Marjorak takes that. We'll see. We'll see. It comes out. If Cuevas has a really stonking day on serve, he will take the match. But he's not at his best on hard courts. We will see. Lorenzi very disappointing in the last round against a guy playing his first match as a pro. Uh, to be fair, his opponent did play really well, but he wasted so many chances. No value on that one. He's going to get torn a new one today. Kudler Lajevic. Lajevic 2 1. Most recent was March 2018 on hard. He won that in two sets. Overall results slightly favour him. Better hardcore results this season. Although when I say better, he's only won 42% of his matches. Both these two not having a great season so far. Pick Darcy's in straight sets in the last round. Kudler beat Tipsarovic in four sets. That was pretty much as expected in that one. I think this is going to be tougher for Kudler today. Lajovic to win. It won't be in straight sets. Back him around 1.95. Vavrinka served fairly well in the last round. Chardy really played well. Really lifted his game. Uh, won his last match in five sets. Vavrinka, as expected, dropped a set to Sinner. And I expect him to win this, but it's not going to be easy probably four sets seems most likely chance of five covering to go through Goffin should be comfortable or as comfortable as Goffin will ever be uh, Berez has got a better win percentage in the last 12 months the hard court results are quite even it did beat Nori in five sets in the last round I expect Goffin to be a little bit too strong won't be a shock if he loses, say, the third set when he's 2 0 up. Uh, but I don't see an upset in that one. Baz, Lash, Billy takes on Brooksby, who beat Burditch in the last round. Brooksby served fairly well, and there's a chance he's going to take a set from this one. Baz, Lash, Billy played five sets in the last round. Maybe a little bit of fatigue, but really shouldn't be, and he should be winning that one. Back Basil if he loses the first set. Oops, too far. Karina Buster, Barankis. First time they played. Overall results favour Barankis. Hardcore results are pretty even. Karina Buster reached the semis in 2017. Uh, he reached the second round. Typo there. Reached the second round last year but retired. I give him the edge to win this, but it's certainly not going to be an easy match for him. Back him if he gets broken, and then Brankis also holds. Opelka has won all three of their previous matches. Most recent February this year, Indo Hardcourt, a three set tie break. All the matches. All their matches were on hard. I've just said the first one was. Indoor hard. Presumably, I mean, the other two matches were on hard. Overall results favour Opelka. I don't expect him to take this in straight sets, given that their last one, which was this year, was so close. 
uh, back him around 1.75. Djokovic isn't going to have any problems with Londero. Londero, good win in the last round over uh, Query. He's not going to get too much from this one. Interesting one to finish the day. Koric Dimitrov. First time they've played. Overall results favour Koric. Hardcore results are better as well. Uh, Dimitrov hasn't won back to back matches since the French Open in May. And on hard courts, hasn't won two matches in a week since the Australian Open. He did play well in the last round to beat Seppi. Uh, served pretty well. I think he's going to be competitive. Four or five sets. Koric to scrape through. On to the ladies. Okay, Jabir Sasnovic, first time they played. Overall results pretty even. Hardcore results favour Sasnovic. Jabir played well in the last round. Garcia gave her a lot of help. Sasnovic beat Brady as underdog in the last round. Good chance of three sets. I think I'm going to give it to Sasnovic. I'm looking for 1.9 to back her. Conta Gasparian. Conta played well in the last round. Overall results are much stronger for her. Conta was poor last year. Um, she's improved a little bit this season. She does lead on hard courts in 2019. Beat Kazakina in the last round. Served pretty well. When she's serving well, it boosts the rest of her game and she's pretty tough to beat. I'm going to back her if she gets broken or loses the first set. Mladanovic beat Kerber in the last round. She's won both the matches with Ferro most recent May this year on clay two sets. Uh, both the matches were on clay in 2019. She beat Kerber in the last round. I've already said that. Ferro beat Gavrilova in two sets in the last round. That was expected. Overall results are a little better for Ferro. Hard court results are also slightly better. Very good chance of three sets in this one. Value is on Ferro. I think she's got a decent chance of taking this. Uh, Lay Mladanovic if she breaks first and Lay at the set one winner. Van Uytvank, a rare win on hard courts for her in the last round. She won. Her only other match with Wang, that was on clay, 2018, three sets. 12 months results favour Wang. Uh, they're a bit more even in 2019, but Wang still has the lead. Back Wang around about 1.7. Uh, first time Pliskova has played Bolkvadze. Uh, Pliskova made really hard work of her last round was comfortable initially in both sets, ended up uh, winning in two tie breaks. I don't see any value in that one, to be honest. Um, good effort from Bulk Badser in the last round to beat Pera, but Pera was below par. <clears throat> On to Martik Bogdan. Martik has won all three of the previous matches, most recent 2019 on clay, three sets. She won on hard in 2015. Overall results favour her. Her hard court results are better in the last 12 months. But Bogdan leads in 2019. Bogdan's come through the qualifying rounds. Very good chance of three sets in this one. Play Martic if she breaks early. But back her if she hits 1.85. Alexandrova Zhang. Alex won their only previous match. That was in... This month, August, two sets, slightly better overall results for her. Hard court results are also stronger. Chance of three sets, but I'm going with Alexandra over to win. 0.9. Svitolina, Venus, Williams, not an easy one. Svitolina, 2-1 in the previous matches. Last time they played was on clay in May this year. Svitolina won that in two. She won their only hard court match in 2017, also in straight sets. Overall results pretty even, not too much between them on hard courts. 
difficult to separate them in this one really venus's recent form has been slightly the better of the two and i do give her the edge i think we're going to see three sets lace vitalina if she breaks first and lay the set one winner i'm expecting venus to take that one makova sue say makova won their only previous match that was in february on a hardcore straight sets her overall hard sorry uh, hardcore results also favor her Decent chance of three sets. I'm giving a slight edge to Makova to win, but really that can go either way. Lay the set one winner. And I'll be bailing at one set all. Peterson, Yastremska. Peterson won their only previous match. That was on clay in 2018. Overall results favor Yastremska. Hardcourt results are also a little better. Peterson solid win over Puig in the last round. Yastremska needed three sets to beat Nicolescu, although that was expected. Chance of three sets again today. And I'm going to go with Yastremska to be a little bit stronger in the third. Sakari. Need a drink before I choke. Sakari against Bong. First time they've met. 12 month results are pretty even. Sakari really should spell check these before I send it out. Sakari has better results and better results for her in 2019. What was I smoking this morning? Okay, something's gone wrong there. Pongs came through the qualifying round. She beat Lepchenko in the main draw. Uh, Sakari had an easy win over Georgie. She reached the quarterfinals in Cincinnati. Pongs had some injury issues. Uh, missed most of 2018. Now that she's back and seems fit, she's playing better tennis again. I think she's going to be competitive. Back Sakari, she loses the first set. You can make sense of that. You're better, me, better man than I am. Schweitek, Severstova. First time they've played. Better overall results for Schweitek. Her hardcore results are much stronger. Severstova reached the semis last season. She's not been in the best form this year. Uh, lay her if she breaks first. I'll win set one. Decent chance of three sets. I would give a slight edge to Schweitek to win. Keys, I think, will be comfortable in that one. She's in excellent form. She's serving well. Confidence is sky high. Uh, she should win that in two. Kenin should be too strong for Siegmund in that one. She's got stronger, stronger overall results and stronger hardcourt results. New value, straight sets for me. Davis against Barty. It would be nice if Barty makes the same start as she made in the last round. I expect her to win. It's probably going to be straight sets as long as she sorted out whatever the issue was in that first set. Very bizarre first set from her. And uh, Serena Williams. I think McNally may keep one of the sets close. I don't see her taking a set though from that one. Um, if I'm still awake then I won't be trading that one. I don't see any value. Anyway, I'll go and correct those spelling errors that I've sent out to all subscribers and I will see you tomorrow.